I watched a documentary about uh, young guys going into farming. The guy was a, a computer animator, so all day he would go in and animate things, build 3D models. He said he was just developing one part of his brain day in, day out, getting awesome at animating. But it felt so empty because what about the rest of his body and brain and everything? And then so he went into farming and then he said, you know, when I'm farming, I use my brain, I use my body, I use my heart. And farming, I use my brain, I use my body, I use my heart. For me, I totally get what he's saying. I completely get what he's saying. I love being up here, it's more play than it is work. I love being up here, it's more play than it is work. Coming from an IT background, coming from an IT background, you know, when you're programming stuff, nobody really sees what you've done or sort of the genius that's gone behind it, unless something's wrong. And then if something's wrong, they'll come find you and you get pooped on, and you get pooped on. Moving to aquaponics, I'm up, I'm active, I'm moving things around, I'm giving people food, something we can eat at the end. It's not like a software program. I'm giving people food. So for me, that's the big, that's a big draw. It's becoming quite hit now. We've got like CSAs popping up all over the place. CSA is a community supported agriculture. So it's like a farm where like a community or like 50 people or whatever will pledge money to the farm so that they can run the farm. And in return, they get a share of the crops, a share of the crops. And in this way, people know their producer of food. They know where it's made and how it's uh, farmed. We've got like CSAs popping up all over the place. It's becoming quite hip now. In aquaponics, it's an attempt to uh, recreate an ecology indoors. The basic tenets are you need fish to produce ammonia and waste, and then you need um, bacteria, nitrobacter and nitrosominus, and those two will convert the ammonia to nitrite and nitrates. And then the plants in doing so, they pick up all that nutrient, they filter out the water back for the fish. So it's clean water for the fish. It's this virtuous loop that happens there. Loop that happens there. The kale does amazingly in aquaponics and hydroponic systems. The kale does amazingly. Uh, it's just surrounded by water, so it can take up as much water as it wants. And, and so, so it feels and it tastes really crisp. The produce is a lot better.